Hello, Burning Man Festival. Woo! Too, did I hear it too soon? <laughs> it's too soon for the tragedy of Burning Man. Baby, are you okay? Are the clowns heckling you? <laughs> right. How's everyone doing? Give it up for all the other performers you saw tonight, yeah? Woo! You guys ready for, for jokes? That's what they brought me here for, jokes. So let's do that, yeah? Uh, I'm, I'm going to start with something I saw driving up here today. I saw a, uh, a store I thought was kind of funny. Uh, condoms to go. Okay, I've seen condoms since, but condoms to go. My only question being is, who does not know this product is to go? Is somebody ordering the condom for here? Like, do we have a problem with in-store condom usage of strapping it on and fondling store clerks? Is this really? I don't know, man. Condoms are funny to me. I once saw a girl, or uh, had a girl call me cute for using a condom. I put on the condom. She goes, oh, you use condoms? That's cute. That's cute. She now has a much cuter baby, okay? She really had no condom sense. She was more like the condoms got to go. Uh, see what I did there? Clever. Moral of that story, guys, wear condoms. If you do not know where to find them, same aisle as the uh, tampons, oddly enough. Like, condoms and tampons in the same aisle, what kind of mood setting is this? You know, one of them saying like, hey, come on in. The other is saying, keep the fuck out. <laughs> we gotta separate those things, guys. Gotta do it, it's 2015. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> Uh, I saw a meme the other day, too, I thought was uh, pretty awesome. It said, treat your body as your temple. We get that, right? Treat your body with the utmost care and respect. Treat your body as your temple. I saw that, and I was like, my body's like the temple of doom. <laughs> you know? Like, my blood cells are kind of like Indiana Jones in short round, trying to get through, like, the murky bloodstreams of, like, Miller High Life I've diluted my system with. Instead of running from boulders, you know, they're running from like the flaming meatballs I shove in here at midnight. <laughs> There's a tribe of gingivitis in my mouth playing bongo drums on top of my teeth, stabbing their spears down. Gum, 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 gum. <laughs> they're at war with the southern tribesmen. I call them the southern tribesmen. My doctor calls them crabs. Can crabs get crabs? Like, could a case of crabs get a case of the crabs and other crabs not want to hang out with crabs with crabs? <laughs> I know what you're saying, Joey. That makes no sense. Crabs don't have pubes, but some pubes have crabs. Some philosophical shit for your asses. I don't know. I should talk about that joke, though. I need to take better care of my body. I'm 24, and, like, my body's gotten to the point the other day, I hurt my ankle jerking off. Like, I, it seems disconnected, but it's not, man. I hit the toe point, it goes out. My doctor, he goes, well, uh, how, how did it happen? And I go, work. <laughs> he goes, Joey, where do you work? I said, the sperm bank off at 35. He goes, Joey, you and I both know you make way too poor life decisions to be donating at a sperm bank, much less for a living. I said, please don't tell my boss. <laughs> He's like, I am your boss, Joey. I'm your ankle and dick doctor. And apparently one is fatter than the other. <laughs> yeah. Tagline. Got to work on it. It's okay. We'll move from that. It's all right. Everyone okay? Do you guys need another hug session after the first three jokes? Are we all right? Because I missed that first one. I was going to come and join in, but I'm way too dirty for that, so it's okay. Round of applause for my self-esteem right now. <laughs> oh, I'll just fish it anywhere. I'll get it any way I can. Uh, so I recently got a job, guys. This guy recently got a job uh, at an office building. Um, and it's true what they say about the office buildings, the water cooler, you know, that's where the most gossip goes down. But I have found the anti-water cooler of the workplace, the men's bathroom. <laughs> Ladies, you go to the bathroom to like conversate, but the men's bathroom is like the Shaolin temple of the workplace and the fact that there's hardly eye contact and absolutely no talking. It's like we all know what we're gonna do in there and we're very ashamed about it. Like, if you've heard my first three jokes, like, a lot of guys my age, like, we'll sit and joke around about dicks and buttholes, man. You get guys condensed in a room with dicks and buttholes, ain't shit funny. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I always love like the, the, the movie scenario of two dudes like peeing in a urinal next to each other and the other guy like checking them out. I don't think like uh, looking at the other dude in the urinal, like I don't think that's a homosexual behavior. I think that's like animalistic being. I think you're sizing up the other dog in the fight. I think your pi penis is kind of just like a buck getting down ready to <laughs> charge on it. <laughs> I was thinking, like, in, in your head, you're building, like, you know, a totem pole, a, a scrotum pole of penises. <laughs> or maybe I just have bizarre weekend activities. I don't know. Uh, but no, uh, it, back to the jobs. We hear a lot of talk now about, uh, we hear a lot of talk right now about unemployment, don't we? The unemployment, everyone's unemployed, the unemployment rate. I'm sick of this negative connotation behind unemployment. Like sitting around just in your underwear watching reruns of Garfield's really a bad thing. Unemployed. You mean happy people? <laughs> the ones who don't have to answer to anybody? Now, I know there's people who need to work, but have you seen a willfully unemployed person? You know, yeah, it looks like they've been chewing on rocks their whole life. They don't have dental care, but... That smile. <laughs> As you can see, I lied earlier about getting a job. <laughs> Still smiling hard. But no, I, and, and there's a lot of, I know people like need jobs, and I, but I'm sick of hearing the fact that there's, there's no jobs. I'm sick of hearing like, it's hard to find a job. Did you know you can get work as a baby naming consultant? You're never out of work, man. Here's a statistic. Joe Coffey knows zero about how many babies are born a day, but I bet you it's a fucking lot. That's a lot of babies. That's a lot of work if you're doing the math. I don't know how much each baby pays, but that's a lot of money. <laughs> we'll get off babies. You guys obviously don't like babies. <laughs> Love me talking down to myself, so let's go there, right? No, I did. All right, well, this is something I thought of uh, writing up here today. Uh, any any hip-hop fans in here at all? Anyone? Well, anyone aware of 50 Cent? The big boom, you know, I'm 24, so when I was 15, you know, 50 Cent had a big boom when I was a kid and just kind of went away, was doing vitamin water and being a rich guy, you know? But I want 50 Cent to make the comeback. And I think 50 Cent needs to come back with a gimmick. I decided this in the car. We're gonna have 50 Cent come back and Ashley's Chaps wrapping into a dildo. We'll call him 50 Shades. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm gonna start an emo tribute band. We'll be called 50 Sensitive. Get rich or cry trying, bitches. <laughs> I like Plano, man. The last time I was here in Plano, actually, I walked by a thrift store that was giving free HIV testing. What? Because <laughs> nothing says, hey, man, sorry for the herps, like a nicely knitted cardigan sweater. All I'm saying is it looks good on me. The herpes, I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do that one for me. I do that one for me. All right, let's get it back. Okay, you guys ready for the A game? Yeah. The A game? Yeah. All right, everybody, have a good... No, <laughs> uh, so, okay, I got, I got one for you guys. Uh, this recently just happened, but my black friends won't hang out with me anymore. And I promise it's okay, I'm saying this joke. My black friends won't hang out with me anymore. I think it's because I treat my black friends like Pokemon in the sense I only call on them when another one wants to fight me. Let it sink in. <laughs> let it sink in. You can clap if you want, just let it sink in. One of them told me that. I was like, that's not true. He's like, yeah, it is, Joey. I'm gonna fight you. I was like, Laquarion, I choose you. Oh, you gotta appreciate how good of a fucking joke that is, okay? I sat around and wrote a name you can't tell if that's a Pokemon or a black guy. You can't. Laquarion went to the gym today to shoot some hoops. Probably a real life reference. Laquarion went to the gym today to get some badges. You couldn't tell the difference. I tell, and, you know, I tell a lot of jokes. I, I, I tell a lot of jokes. Uh, every Wednesday I go to Arlington Improv. That's a fairly black club. And black people love that joke. That's like my, that's my in, you know? Like I'm the cool white guy right now. And so every time, I, or I, I told that in Denton the other day, I have the one liberal pocket I tell it in, and I told that uh, yesterday, and the first time ever it didn't kill one white guy goes, oh man, that's fucked up. Okay, Abraham fucking Lincoln. <laughs> Eco, pokio, black rights activist, fight for the power, man, yeah. Better part about that joke is after uh, the first time I told it, my black friend goes, oh my God, there's a werewolf back there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's, <laughs> this is totally not the weirdest room I've ever played in my life. So <laughs> That's awesome. Forget my joke. Holy shit, there's a guy in a werewolf costume. <laughs> we found Laquarion, everybody. <laughs> we found him. You've been hiding all along. Uh, what do you, you guys, you guys want one more before I go away? Yeah? Oh, wow. Thank you. This is my therapy session. You guys are doing a good job. Holy cow. I might not have to go make toaster strudels in the bathtub tonight. That's creative. That's creative. Bang, bang. I don't care what you say. Uh, let's see. I recently, uh, I recently just got back from doing uh, some shows in Colorado. I don't, I, I, anyone here is familiar with Colorado or their natives, for some reason in all the money we bring them, they do not like Texans. They feel like we are some unruly type. I got, I got some friends that live out there and uh, they work on the mountain. They're all uptight about it. But one of them, he goes to me, hey Joey, uh, he's joking, his name's Greg. Greg goes, hey Joey, how do you get a Texan to suck your dick? I said, how? He goes, dip it in ranch. Okay, all right. Well. I said, okay, Greg, how do you get a Colorado native to suck my dick? He goes, how? I said, I tell him it's organic. Bang, bang. Yeah. But no, while I was out there, I was, uh, I was staying with a friend, and, uh, and she's a psychology major, so she's a, she's a nut. <laughs> We're sitting around drinking, and she, asks, uh, she goes, Joey, uh, what do you hate most about yourself? What do I hate most about? Man, I got a lot of issues, man, you know? Maybe the fact I got to jerk off before I go to sleep and I wake up? What? What do I hate most about myself? I mean, the fact that I had to go from Tinder to Craigslist? <laughs> what do I hate most about myself? You mean the fact that I'm so lonely I caught myself hitting on the free sample lady at Walmart? Hey, her name is Lee. She's a 50-year-old Chinese lady, and she is a saint. Wherever you are, Lee. <laughs> or maybe it's something deep-rooted, you know, that's like really been bothering me for like a long time. Like in fifth grade, uh, I stared at this kid Darius too long. When you stared at Darius too long, he, w he would go boo. So I thought it'd be funny to end it with tea. So it was like boo tea. <laughs> so he goes boo, I go tea. He goes, your mama smells like pee. I'm like, shit. <sighs> you know, Darius did not know my mom. Her name is Lee. She's a 50-year-old Chinese lady and she is a saint. All right, guys, I'm Joe Coffey. Let's bring Russ back up here, everybody.